so china derived regulated output voltage so up to this one is a bridge rectifier with a variable transformer so it provides that unregulated output voltage and uh, this output volt unregulated output voltage is filtered by the capacitor 1000 microfarad filter capacitor and uh, zener diode voltage regulator circuit consisting of series resistance and zener diode so in uh, across zener diode we are connecting a load resistance and it is a variable load resistance variable load resistance uh, to study that load voltage regulation and output voltage is finally measured with the help of a multimeter output voltage so now here there are two uh, parts in this experiment to study the line regulation of a zener diode and to study the load regulation of a zener diode line regulation of first we start that line line regulation of a zener diode so here there is an experiment kit is there to study that uh, line and load voltage regulation so this one is unregulated battery eliminator it provides that unregulated uh, dc output voltage so here this uh, dc output voltage is obtained at the finally it is an input to the rectifier zener diode uh, uh, regulator circuit so here uh, output of battery eliminator available here and uh, a filter capacitor series resistance and zener diode this is the zener diode voltage regulator circuit and there is a output terminal circuit uh, kept here and next is load resistance is connected here. this load resistance terminals are internally connected to the a drb decade resistance box uh, with 100 ohms uh, variation so this resistance can be varied from 0 ohms to 100 200 300 like that it is keep on to 1000 ohms and next there is a one switch is provided here this switch uh, when the in this uh, vfl full load voltage so when the vfl side is there this uh, load resistance terminals are connected to the output terminals uh, whenever uh, it's uh, connected to no load no load means this load resistance is removed from this output of the zener diode regulator circuit so now we'll start that experiment particular experiment so here two aspects one is a uh, uh, study of uh, line regulation of the zener diode and the second one is a uh, study of the load regulation study of uh, line regulation and study of load regulation instead of first one is in study of line regulation we'll start look at this one for study of line regulation we are keeping the load resistance uh, rl is to maximum load resistance say 1000 ohms is constant and we are going to vary that the input voltage here this input voltage with the help of battery limiter it is going to be varied uh, say uh, you can say that what is the first input second uh, one two three so same so many trials you can take and the corresponding output voltage is noted uh, so with the help of this data we can plot a graph so input versus output so we, we are going to find that that is we are going to show that this uh, output voltage is varied up to zener breakdown voltage after once uh, the input voltage is above the zener breakdown voltage so this output voltage is becomes constant that is a uh, voltage regulation is achieved after breakdown voltage of the zener diode so this is the verification of the line regulation next uh, whereas in case of load regulation load regulation is the study of output voltage it is a study of the output voltage how it varies that with the load resistance variation that means the current resistance varied current varied so load resistance is varied and uh, note down that uh, corresponding output voltages by keeping that input voltage v in is constant say we, this uh, condition is input voltage is above that uh, zener breakdown voltage so again here we are going to plot a graph uh, between uh, rl and uh, v naught and it shows that the output voltage is constant after certain load resistance minimum load resistance so here the zener diode uh, resistance the r series resistance should be taken that that depends upon the watt of the wattage of the zener diodes okay here we are using that 100 ohm as a series resistance now we'll start that actual experiment <coughs> actual experiment so in this case Okay. Mm -hmm. so, here first we measure this with the help of multimeter <coughs> measure the output voltage with the help of this multimeter so measure 
this is the keeping here the input output voltage keep this one to 20 rate and uh, adjusted this uh, output voltage to say first trial and note on this uh, trial voltage here this trial voltage is uh, input voltage so first uh, trial second trial it is focus also. 1 2 3 4 so first input voltage is 2.3 uh, volts and the second input voltage is uh, 5.1 uh, volt next is 6.9 volts fourth one is 8.8 .8 volts fifth one is 10.03 volts 10 volts and sixth one is sixth one is 12.8 volts so these are all the input voltage variations now we are going to study that output voltage corresponding to this one so first trial we are keeping this one is a 2.3 volts so noted this voltage now the same output terminal voltage is measured here the output terminal for the first trial so here we are noting that keeping this uh, resistance to maximum say this is 1000 volts 1000 volts is calculated so for 2.3 output voltage is also 2.3 volts so output voltage is also 2.3 volts now change this uh, resistance to second one is here the input voltage for the second trial 5.1 is here here also we can get that same thing 5.1 volt so next one is the, for the third trial so this voltage is uh, keeping to <coughs> so this is the input output voltage for 6.9 volts input voltage the output voltage is only 5.3 volts that means here onwards we are getting constant values this is a general diode entered into the breakdown condition here general diode this general diode enters into the breakdown condition so it became it maintains a constant uh, output voltage so that output voltage here you are going to see that in the previous case 5.0 5.1 is 5.1 above that 5.1 onwards it slightly increases 5.3 for the next trial so here for in the input voltage is 8.8 .8 volts the output voltage is again 5.3 volts next is uh, for the next trial input voltage is uh, 10 volts output voltage is 5.4 volts next input voltage is uh, last trial input voltage is uh, 12 volts 12.8 volts output voltage still 5.4 volts so it is observed that output voltage values are uh, constant they becomes constant or rise in output voltage is very very minimum after the general breakdown voltage of 5.1 volts onwards here the input voltage is increases whereas the output voltage is almost constant so and hence what we say that the output voltage is constant that is a regulated output voltage the input voltage is varied but the output voltage is constant that's why it is a regulated output voltage so it is study next one is the load regulation so for load regulation we are keeping this input voltage to maximum value say this input voltage is keeping this uh, low for load regulation take the multimeter first connect multimeter terminals to the output of the battery eliminator and it is uh, keep this battery eliminator of output voltage is to maximum value so this is the maximum value and it is around 12.8 volts is there so 12.8 is noted in the observation so 12.8 volts is noted this is the maximum output voltage so next thing is next step is we are changing the load resistance uh, in terms of uh, 200 400 like this so by a trial number is one so tr number trial number <coughs> so first trial number is uh, 200 volts and second trial 400 third 600 4th 800 and 5th is 1000 volts now this resistance is uh, uh, first step is change this resistance to 0 ohms say 0 ohms or 200 ohms you can keep 200 ohms first trial so 2 into 100 200 ohms and remove this uh, output terminal so this is a battery terminal voltage measure 
connect across the load resistance or uh, this one and keeping this switch keeping this switch to the here VNL VFL, VFL full load voltage and connect that multimeter across load resistance or the voltage provided so here you can see that even you can take the trial for zero also so zero resistance uh, first trial sorry here the first trial is zero second trial is this one third trial you can take fourth trial fifth trial and sixth trial is a thousand first trial is zero volts so keeping this is a zero volts and output voltage is zero volts output voltage zero volts next is increase this one to 200 ohms so this voltage is 5.4 volts next one is 400 300 400 so this output one still it is a 5.44 next one is 600 5 600 it is a 5.46 next is 700 800 it is a 5.4 uh, yes sorry, this one. so next one is uh, it's a 5.49 and the last trial is the last one 10 into 100 thousand for thousand ohms it is uh, 5.55 so in this case also you observe that the change in output voltage is very less after a certain load resistance so if it is in a unregulated power supply the output voltage is varied with the load resistance uh, largely but uh, because of the voltage regulation output voltage is constant even the resistance or is changes so the, by the plotting a graph uh, between rl and the output voltage you can uh, get this type of uh, slope for zeros here zero volts and next one is the five volts so the, like this points are getting so is almost all uh, constant so from this one we studied that load regulation uh, so load regulation is uh, also 5.5 volts output voltage line regulation is also 5.4 or 5.5 volts is there. so this is the study of regulated power supply using the GNR diode so it's a verification of regulated power supply